Hello everyone. It is kind of Tuesday. It's Tuesday night after midnight, but I'm calling it Tuesday, which means it's Bloobs Day, which means it's time for another Bloobs Day Challenge. And I missed last week and I'm so sorry. Um, <clears throat> oh look, that's my new cat. Her name is Salvador Dolly the cat because of her mustache. Um, but mostly I call her Schnau. Schnau! And she's fairly uncontrollable, but you gotta get down, buddy. Uh, that's her new cat tree behind me. She's new. I've had her for about five or six weeks now. And it's very fun, and she's a super cool cat, and she gets along with my dogs, which is fun. Uh, I have the full incredible journey slash homeward bound situation now which is a older dog, a younger dog, and a cat. So <laughs> I already have a outline for a sequel film involving my small dogs because the dogs in those films have usually been medium to large size. Anyways, it's exciting. It's whatever, who cares? Um, I probably seem a little off kilters today. Even my angle just went weird because my phone started to fall. Um, I'm having one of those times right now where like technologies aren't working quite right with me and I'm not feeling well. Um, I haven't mentioned this in my bloobs day videos because it's not very bloobish, but um, starting on December 31st, 2023, my ears both like sealed up and basically the like tube that controls the pressure of stuff that goes in and out of your ear like apparently is like collapsed inside there so back and forth it'll be this year that's all the way plugged or this year that's all the way plugged sometimes they're barely plugged but they're never all the way open and just this week uh this one plugged up a lot and like super hurts <laughs> It actually started to happen last week, which is partly why I didn't make my video, but the main reason is because I was out having fun at open mics. Oh, look, there's the schnau. She's up on her climby thing. Um, <clears throat> so if I sound kind of nasally and I'm kind of like, you're like, I've been watching these videos. I don't even know if there's a person who does. I don't know if any person watches these videos, but... YouTube tells me that a couple people do, so <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> it might just be me looking at the video. I don't even know how it works. I don't really, it doesn't really matter that much to me. I do these because it's fun to me. It reminds me of who I was when I was making those videos that are on the playlist. They're not actually on this channel because they're on my original channel, which something changed again do I understand how things work mm, no N no so I had one channel for a long time and then sometime it changed and I had to have a different channel I'm not quite sure why uh, but and that's this channel that you're watching but, so my original blues day challenge videos are on my old channel but they're on the playlist on this channel so if you do want to go back and see that content which is from 2018 which seems like a long time ago now and actually is quite a long time ago now uh, feel free they're there that's what prompted me to start making these ones because I was like as I told you I go you know what the world needs more of these again there's more blueberry related things than there used to be even then so let's have some fun with it and also I just am like might as well make a videos. Uh, people make videos. <laughs> if you want to put a comment on my video and tell me other videos you want besides blueberry videos, I can make a lot of different videos. <laughs> I have a lot of topics. You could ask me questions. I used to have a service called You Can Talk to M, and it was basically just putting my phone number on my social media and letting people just call me and ask me questions or talk to me. And, um, no, but I don't have social media other than YouTube now, so, and I don't want to put my phone number on YouTube. That's a little too 
could potentially result in me receiving a phone call all the time, which that's narcissistic, isn't it? Because I'm going, oh, everyone will see my phone number and want to talk to M. <laughs> Literally, I'm making this video right now because hardly anybody wants to talk to M. That's why M is talking to this video. <sighs> but look, I'm not trying to be down. <laughs> It probably seems like it. It's not. My mom is coming here to visit me. This is the big news in M land right now. My mom's going to be here in like <clears throat> at the end of this month. She's going to be here for my birthday. She's going to be here for one week, the first week of June. And I need to tell you guys, I haven't physically seen my mother since I visited Michigan to visit her and others in at Thanksgiving and into the beginning of December of 2015 so like this Thanksgiving it will be nine years since I seen her so luckily we're not gonna get all the way to the nine year mark because she's coming at the end of this month and you go oh do you hate your mom is that why you haven't seen her no I, what I hate is airplanes and especially airports and so that's what kind of caused the problem because I had such a anxiety inducing experience coming back to California from Michigan in 2015 when I was leaving there from that trip that I was like I don't I can't do this and then I was gonna I was gonna actually you guys here's what's fun in the beginning of 2020 I was like okay I'm going to take the bus or the train to Michigan and then I'm going to rent a, one of those trucks like a Penske rental truck not U-Haul sorry U-Haul but you have left me in the lurch and that was terrible what you did to me that time in 2001 or two whenever that was and I don't think I won't forget it <laughs> So, um, I was going to rent one of those trucks, get the stuff that I had left at my mom's when I was moving to California originally in 2014, <coughs> excuse me, and, and then I was going to slowly drive back to California in this truck with my stuff and like maybe like schedule some comedy shows and do like a little mini tour. And my plan for that was to do that in like May or June of 2020. Ah ha 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 ha. And then that obviously became a total impossibility. So then I would have only not seen her for five years. Ugh. Which, previous to that, the longest I had ever went without seeing her was three years, and that was oh, terrible. And so imagine how I feel right now. It's, like, been almost three times as long. Like, the good thing is is that I talk to my mom every night on the phone, and I have been since July of 2020. Um, fun story is that I had hit the wall with the pandemic in July 2020, and... I was crying on the phone to my mom one night and she goes, I think I'm just going to call you every night now. And I go like, that's a great idea, mom. And so she does now. And honestly, I lived in her house with her the last like five years I lived in Michigan before I moved out here. And I didn't talk to her as much when I lived in the house with her as I do now because we talk every night and we definitely did not talk every day or even every other day. If I didn't see her, we sometimes just want to talk. So not that we hate each other. It's just that's how it is sometimes. Sometimes if you don't like make the commitment to stay in regular contact like that, it just time slips. And so... I'm not as disconnected from her as you might think I would be given the amount of time that's gone since we've been together. But however, one of the reasons I moved to California when I did was because there's been a lot of studies which have shown that when you are in the presence of someone who shares a certain amount of your DNA that's a blood relative of yours that your health indicators improve your um blood flow and your like all of the things that make you a healthy vibrant person improve those metrics 
when you are in contact with someone who is your blood relative. That's been shown to be true even in coma patients. If their child or brother or parent um, comes into the room, their vital signs will improve. It's really fascinating. So that was why I moved out here when I did, because my dad had been living in California for quite some time with no blood relatives near him. So I was like, I'm going to go be his blood relative. And not to toot my own DNA horn or whatever, <laughs> but mm, he was doing pretty bad when I first came out here, like desperately bad, which is why I hurried my butt up and got out here. But then, like, he had a rally, and he did really great for, like, three years in there. Like, three and a half years, he was, like, solid. And so, I'm happy for that, but then what happened is he left the Earth and left his DNA behind in December of 2019. So, ever since then, well, actually, ever since his funeral his memorial service in January of 2020, which my brother was at... That's the last time I was with someone who's my blood relative was January of 2020. So now it's my DNA that's like, kind of like needs a little tune up from some blood relatives. So also my mom's never been to California and I've been obviously to my hometown of Michigan a one trazillion times, way a million times more than I probably would ever choose or care to if we're being honest but my mom's never been to california let alone los angeles california so i'm really stoked that she's coming and that's my greatest thing and then another cool thing is here's something this video is not even about blueberries yet and we're almost at 12 minutes but since hardly anybody watches these and plus you can just fast forward through and ai will tell you where the chapters are i'm not even stressed about it like can choose to watch or listen to as much or little of this as you want. This is just me giving you some background that's not just strictly bloob related. But um, my friend Sam, this is another playlist you can go to on my channel, which is the Jimmy John's Journal, which is a program that me and Sam did. Um, and this, this is the logo that I made on the actual journal, <laughs> Jimmy John's Journal, which was a program where we would go to different locations of Jimmy John's rest restaurant and then do our review of those different locations of a chain, which I feel is a very funny concept in which people really responded to and which, in fact, Jimmy John's themselves, like after we dropped our first epi, they sent us this huge box of like shirts and socks and a gift card and like stickers i put this sticker on the lid of my like thing i have my earrings in so it's right next to me all the time on my desk but i understand that jimmy john the man is problematic because of his choices that he's made vis-a-vis -vis killing creatures that are rare and as i used to say when people would criticize us for doing our show about jimmy john's i would be like uh yeah he shot a giraffe you know what they don't serve at the restaurant? Giraffe meat. Calm down. But also, to be fair to the critics, um, no offense, Jimmy John's, the restaurant, but oh, me and Sam tried to make an epi last year when she was visiting town. We went to the Beverly Hills location of Jimmy John's, which previously had been our flagship, our number one, you know, Jay's up jays up to the wind and we went in there and they were like oh we don't have any tomatoes or lettuce and something else and like i'm a vegetarian that's like half my sammy so we didn't even go in there but anyways the sam speaking of pandemic in august of 2020 she and her now husband then boyfriend derek moved to austin texas um, well, they didn't move there straight away. I'm just giving all the info right now. They like stayed with family and friends for a long time and then eventually settled in Austin because Austin, if you don't know, if you're not in on the comedy scene, Austin was a place among a few places during the heavy, heavy lockdowns where there was still the ability for people to perform comedy live and there was a lot of people who relocated to there at that time. So they also did that and they still live there now and 
today I was just like texting people. I just had this moment today where I was like, I'm just gonna text a bunch of people like who I haven't talked to in a while just to be like, hey, what's up? And I texted Sam and sent her a couple of pictures of us from the Jimmy John's journal. And she wrote me back and she goes, oh, we're in LA, but I don't know if we'll have time to hang out. And I was like, what? Because I don't have social media. I don't know where people are. Like if you're on social media, you kind of know, oh, these people are gonna be in town around this time or you know, this is what's happening with people. I never know what's happening with anybody, literally. So I was just texting her and then it happened that she had landed in LA from Austin like one hour before I texted her. She goes, I can't believe it. She's like, I'm in LA, but I just don't know if we'll be able to hang out. I was like, it's okay. I didn't even know you were in LA. <laughs> but here's the fun part. Her husband, Derek, um, Derek Poston, if you know him, he's a pretty famous um, guy now at this point. He's been famous for a while, like in comedy. I don't know how much outside comedy, but again, I don't know a lot about a lot of things that are happening in the world because I stay in this room right here where you see all these little buddies and like living animals. I'm like, I have everything I need. <clears throat> but <clears throat> Derek and the boys are going to be podcasting tomorrow afternoon. Their podcast is called The Solid Show with Derek and Hassan. And also, um, it used to be called Spoil the Beans. It was a movie podcast. Anyways, so I get to have lunch with Sam tomorrow. So this is all my way of saying that I'm not feeling well, but I am feeling well. And now that I've spoken for 17 minutes... Let's get into the challenge, shall we? Well, first of all, I want to introduce you to these gorgeous friends of mine. These are some Mexican bloobs. Last week, I did have bloobs and everything to make the video, but I just was unable to. And um, the bloobs I had last week were California bloobs, which... I didn't think we were even into those yet, but I think that it's hot house. But it doesn't really matter. The point is, these are Mexican. So I've been sitting here while we've been talking. If you see me looking away, I'm like, I'm literally like picking up handfuls of blueberries and then just like letting them fall out of my hands, like <laughs> while I'm talking. Um, I have various like um mental health challenges and some of them are like related to like how things like I can't just be doing one thing like talking to this video I also have to be like looking at and feeling these blueberries <laughs> but who is our challenger today well I will tell you I don't know if you have Amazon Fresh Grocery available where you are, but I do. And because I'm an Amazon Prime member and this is not a sponsored ad, this is just real talk. I don't have a car and so it's really convenient for me to be able to order my groceries and have them delivered to me through Amazon um, because the fees are much lower than they are from the regular grocery store. So these are Amazon Fresh wild blueberry mini muffins naturally and artificially flavored and the thing when they say naturally and artificially flavored I think it's partly because um, it definitely says natural and artificial flavor in the ingredients but one of the ingredients is also blueberries so what I have done, even though I've wasted a lot of time talking today, I didn't waste any time with this because I already took one out of this package, <laughs> thinking, and I already took the paper off from around it. So I can just go like this and it's so perfect as though I'm an actual video guy who makes things and it's like one of these videos. So I want you to see the beautiful little blueberry muffin it's I don't know if they're wild blueberries I think they say wild blueberry but it's like is the guy really going around and picking these in the woods for Amazon fresh grocery I doubt it so they're probably just regular <laughs> blueberries but it has like a crumble on the top and the top is you know kind of baked golden and then like in Seinfeld like the stump is like <laughs> just um you know not as like browned up because obviously the paper is what gets brown so 
Uh, let's taste it. First of all, I will say it smells very blueberry-ish. It does smell muffin-ish. It's gonna, it's a muffin. But it definitely has a strong blueberry flavor. So I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite that includes top and bottom or top and stump if you are a Seinfeld person. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. You can see there's blueberries inside too. Sometimes blueberry muffins or any kind of muffins that has like stuff in it, somehow all the stuff is like on the outsides and then when you bite in it's just plain muffin in there, which is fine. Like who's mad? But also it's nice when there's blueberries in the middle and there is on this and the blueberries in this are very, very sweet and um just like I said when if you watched the video where I made my grilled cheese and put the bloobs inside of it when blueberries get cooked they get way like softer and they like plump out and it makes them very like <laughs> delicious so I'm gonna take one more bite of this cuz it's really good that crumbly stuff on the top is very sugary um But these are just super sweet and delicious, cute, cute cuties. And uh, I will say that five muffins is 460 calories. So that means each muffin is just under 100 calories if you're counting calories. Uh, if me talking about calories is a, something that causes a problem for you, um, I really sincerely apologize because calories is sort of like it's just one part of the metric when it comes to food and your health or food and your weight. And it's not actually as big of a part of the metric as you're led to believe. But it's also nice to know, especially when you're talking about something that has a lot of added sugars, which this does. So I will say the Amazon Fresh Wild Blueberry Mini Muffins naturally and artificially flavored are quite delicious. Mmm, tasty. But let's see how they compare with, again, also from Amazon, these blueberries uh, from Mexico. I mean, really, honestly, can you please just get a look? Look at them and they move around. That's why I was fooling with them because they're very, like, tactile. They're, they're, thing is, these blueberries are all very, like, they're firm. They, like, have, like, some heft to them as most Mexican bloobs do. And they're dark and shiny, which is what you really kind of want to see. They're really great looking, and I haven't even eaten one because I was saving until the video. So uh, without further ado, let's see how these guys stack up to the Challenger. Oh my gosh. After eating that extra sweet added sugar muffin, the blueberry sugar tastes a little bit like tart like, but as soon as you just like get a full mouthful bite of these blueberries with the firmness and the just like perfection, your brain goes, who cares about added sugars? I want these a real sugars. <laughs> Once again, the winner um, of these challenges and of my heart <laughs> is Actual Bloobs. I found Moth Home Blueberry Heel. <laughs> Happy Bloobs Day. This is an extra long video. Um, make a comment. Comment on it. Give me a question. Bloob related or not bloob related. Family and friend related or not family and friend related. Michigan or California related. DNA or your dad's funeral related. Find out who won the game of eulogy that day. Me or my brother. Spoiler alert.
it was me. <laughs> JK, no one wins. Love you.